got great solutions to help with some of the problems. If they overload the little kids up, they're going to have a really hard time all through life. They need to learn to read and write at a young age, and they're going to increase the class sizes. So we really need people to vote in June. We need to let our state legislators know that we're not going to put up with this anymore, and it's time to stop with the cuts. Okay. And then today is a statewide protest day. And I'm actually the one who emailed Mr. Gaskell and said, we got to do something. I don't work for this district. As I mentioned, I work over the hill, but we had nothing organized on the coast. And every school district in the state is encouraged to protest today. And it's small, but we're hoping to get more people. And this is not convenient. It's not fun to get up at 7 o'clock in the morning, but I think it's something we need to get used to, especially with the parcel tax coming up in, in June. Oops. <laughs> biggest concern of all? Is there a single thing? Or? Well, if we have young kids, so it's classroom size. I mean, that's one thing for sure. Losing um, good teachers, too. Yeah. Um, that's important. Losing our librarians is another... Well, and our groundskeepers, we don't want dirty schools. Yeah, custodians are going to cut a custodian position. The libraries are threatened. The sports programs are all threatened. And the kids on the coast have nothing to do but basically sports. So... They have a lot of juvenile delinquents on the street if they don't do something around funding, help funding some of our um, additional programs as well as the arts and music. They need to have well-rounded education. And as a high school teacher, when I look at the proposed cuts about reducing counseling services at the high school, that's like the last thing you do with the high school kids. They need every counselor available. And not paying coaches for stipends at Cunha? Who's going to coach a sport? I was a cheerleading coach for many years at my high school. That stuff just doesn't happen. You have to leave people. tight economy and, and, and limited resources, where do you feel like, you know, sacrifices can be made or, or money should, additional money should come from? That's that question. is a hard question. Yeah. We've yeah. been talking about that. Yeah? Um, we got to find it. we got to make it work. Uh-huh. Otherwise, our kids aren't going to get good educations, and that trickles down to the rest of the economy and the rest of our town. You know, the tax, you know, nobody wants more taxes, and in my opinion, if, you know, our school board would campaign and with the promise of how the money is going to be used, that maybe people would vote for June because, frankly, the track record hasn't been great. It took them a long time to pull Sakuni School together, and a lot of people are disgruntled about that, and they don't trust, they don't trust the bureaucracy, and uh, they need to know that this is dire, and our children are, you know, their futures are at stake, the economy is at stake, our property values are at stake. Wow. She just started kindergarten, and I'm also a teacher for the San Mateo Union High School District over the hill. Hi, my name is Kim Gagnon. I'm a parent of a kindergartner and a fourth grader at Hatch Elementary. Hi, I'm Sarah Hughes. I'm a parent as well, and I'm, um, I have a son in the fourth grade. And I'm Muff Donner. I have a first grader and a fourth grader at Hatch.